Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss law, problem number 4. Let me read out the question. In figure, in figure, a butterfly net is uh, in a uniform electric field of magnitude E equal to 3 millinewton per coulomb. Okay, millinewton per coulomb. The rim, uh, the, let me write out the field first. Field is 3 millinewton per coulomb, which is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 newton per coulomb. The rim, uh, the rim, a circle of radius A is equal to 11 centimeters, 11 centimeters. So this is 11 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters is aligned perpendicular to the field. This is important, is aligned perpendicular to the field. Now this part here, this rim here is aligned perpendicular to the field, okay, perpendicular to the field. Uh, the net, uh, the net contains uh, no net charge. So there is no charge inside the net. Find the electric flux through the netting. So we have a butterfly net here. So this is a butterfly net and this is the rim there. And this is some kind of a handle. So uh, we have to find out flux through this butterfly net, through this netting here. This is an open surface here. This isn't, uh, there isn't any surface here. This is not closed. It is an open thing here. It's an open thing there. Now, uh, you can see if we consider, if we consider a flat disc here at the rim with radius equal to A, then the number of field lines growing, going through the netting, going through this surface, this netting is same as the number of field lines going through this uh, plane, which we consider this disc, which we will consider. So that means flux through the netting is same as flux through this disc, which we imagine here with the radius of A. And remember field is perpendicular to this plane. So instead of finding flux through this netting directly, which will be impossible for us to solve. Okay, we can't find out uh, mathematically because this is a crazy looking surface. Then instead what we'll do is we'll find out flux through the rim, through this disc which we imagine here and that flux will be same as flux through the netting. Okay, because number of field lines going here through the netting is same as number of field lines coming out here through this uh, imaginary disc if we consider it. So flux through that disc, flux through that disc at the rim which we place at the rim is simply E into A. Field is uniform. Surface is plane. This disk we are considering is having a plane surface, circular surface. And then uh, field lines are crossing through it normally. So directly E into A, uh, which is E into pi A square. Okay, which is E into pi A square. So E is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. Pi is 3.14. And A is uh, 11 into 10 to the power minus 2 uh, meter square. So everything is in SI system. Okay, everything is in SI system. So this comes out to be 1139, 1139.82.82. Into 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power. Okay, this one is square here. Okay, this one is square here. Pi a square into 10 to the power minus 4. Okay, into 10 to the power minus 4. So this thing is this is 10 to the power minus 7. So 1139.8 into 10 to the power minus 7. This implies flux is equal to, I'll write it as 1.14. 1.14 into 10 to the power into 10 to the power 1 2 3 uh, so it will be minus 4 here Newton meter square per coulomb so flux through this flat surface here flux through this disk here is 1.14 into 10 to the power minus 4 Newton meter square per coulomb same will be the flux through the netting Okay, same. So this is the indirect way of finding out flux through the netting, this crazy looking surface, which we can't find out directly, okay, because we can't solve the integral. Okay, fine. 